What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at yet another movie review, and today we're taking a look at another Adam Sandler movie, and this one is called The Do-Over. It is another one on Netflix, and again, it is another one where he has a bunch of his friends come back to make a comedy movie about sort of faking your own death and coming back as other people to solving a mystery. It is a very big, sort of elaborate movie, and I think it takes itself way too seriously. But if you want to get to my opinions, you're going to have to wait till a little bit further in the video because, as per usual with my film reviews, we always start with what Google has to say and a quick rundown of the movie so you guys know what movie I'm talking about and know a little bit about the story before I get into it, even if you haven't seen this movie for yourself. So, this movie is called The Do-Over. It stars Adam Sandler and is a comedy action movie that was made in 2016. It does have a runtime of 1 hour and 48 minutes, and it has a 5.7 out of 10 IMDb, a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 22% on Metric. So I'm not the only one that thinks it's shit. Everyone else thinks it's shit as well. And I'll let you make your own decision. I'm not going to push my opinion on you, but I am going to talk about this movie from my perspective, and I am going to talk about my opinion. But if you do want to make your own opinion, definitely go watch it for yourself. But two down-on-their-luck guys decide to t fake their own deaths and start over with new identities, only to find people they're pretending to be are in even deeper trouble. So this movie starts out with them going to a high school reunion party. Our main character has his wife cheating on him and with the cheetah constantly living in their house with two children, which they're constantly sort of using and abusing him uh, for his money. He works at a save and pay bank or a bank in save and pay. But people always like, you know, ask him about save and pay. And he just has to help them. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much how the story begins. But um, he meets an old friend who takes him out on a sort of trip into the ocean on like a yacht. He fakes the death without warning him. And they start to live their own new life running around sort of drinking in Hawaii with a load of other stuff. And that's when shit gets real because they start getting hunted by other people. And we have them getting shot at, getting killed. Well, not killed, but, you know, <laughs> having to fake their deaths again. And there is quite a few other people that are in this movie as well. Some of Adam Sandler's friends. And they're, they're just here as, like, the bounty hunters who are chasing him. And... This movie's very boring. They run into their fake life wife and sort of get her in on it they go to other people because they were trying the people that they pretended to be was trying to cure cancer however it mysteriously stopped and they were killed so he, they're running around trying to figure out who killed them why they died and who stopped the funding for this cancer research we have them being tortured we have them being double crossed it's like a weird heist movie because the person that they trusted like, you know, tricked them, and then, even after that, they, they, when they find the cure for cancer, they all get better, but they just continue living this fake life, they don't actually go back to their own lives, they continue this fake one in their house, like, in their dead person's house, which is so fucking wild, like, there is no consequences to this movie, like, they still get away with being these people, and... Everybody knows that they're not them. And, like, everybody knows that they have, like, other stuff and that their old jobs and their old friends are still talking to them. So it it's so wild. Like, this movie makes no sense, like, with continuity because they're constantly talking to their old life people, like his mum and, like, the Uber people. All the Amazon people are like constantly chasing him to sort of get money back because he's overdue a payment. And they know it's him from like the old, old times, like his old life. And the comedy is shit. It's like Adam Sandler level comedy and it's boring and slow. There's a, the other character who plays like Higgins in the Grown Ups movie, he's the main one who's down on his look. And I don't even feel sympathy for him, because he did it to himself. Like, 
he's the one who did that situation and he's not getting himself out of it. And he does know that there's a way out of it. Like he's not being held there. He's staying out of his own choice. So I don't feel bad for him. So I, I this movie is just pointless. I, I don't recommend you watch it. The story's boring, confusing, and doesn't make sense. And it goes back on itself all the time. Like the story is not sort of coherent. And the plot twists aren't even that exciting. They're not predictable. Like, they are twists which do catch you off guard, but they're not exciting. And they do feel quite boring and basic. And they didn't have me going, oh my god. They had me going, oh. Oh, it, it, was, it was them. It's kind of a letdown plot twist, if that makes sense. And I know I'm talking a lot of shit about this movie. And there isn't much to say about this movie. So it is all just shit. And Adam Sandler being a good man being good with guns is so strange to me. I don't know why. His acting is his normal self. Like, if you look at all his movies, he is just playing himself. Like, his characters don't change. It is just him and how he's playing his characters. But this is a movie. This is a fucking, um, like, a Happy Gilmore Productions movie. So it is about him and, you know... He's the one producing it. He's the one making it. He's the one starring in it and getting his buddies here. And that's all the movies are. Just him and his buddies making movies, having a good time on set. And it, it's, it's just not it. The movies, the movies are just bad. I'm sorry. They're, they're, they're not good. They're just not. And there's, there's, there's nothing else to say. There, I'm running out of stuff to say. There is, there is not a lot to say about this movie. It is just bad and it's a nothing movie the story isn't coherent the acting is bad it is just him and his buddy having fun in hawaii that is it that is it him and his buddy having fun in hawaii so do that what you will it's just them two in hawaii nothing else becomes of this movie it, i think it was just an excuse to go to hawaii at this point like, this, this film, there is nothing good to say about it. It is all bad. So, I'll leave you with that. It gets a 2 out of 10. I agree with Rotten Tomatoes. It does deserve the 2. And um, if you do want me to review any other movies, I promise you there'll be a lot more upbeat, open-minded, and um, a lot more thought out than this one. But, you know, I'm not going to put effort and sort of give a full sort of valid response to why this movie shit when it didn't even put enough effort into um putting into its own movie so i'm treating this movie like it treats itself so unserious so unfunny so boring so slow but uh, alas other than that i hope you all enjoyed this youtube video i know again it's not as good as my other ones it's not as sort of exciting upbeat it's because the movie is bad, and the movie is so terribly bad that it upset me to watch, and I put time into it, because I know you guys like Adam Sandler movies, so I did it for you guys. Just know that. I did it for you. <laughs>